Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett. In my hands, one of the releases this week out in comic shops and out in bookstores May 14th, timed for uh, June 6, 1944's anniversary, 75 years of Operation Overlord, also known as D Day. So this is written by Robert Venditti, uh, also uh, worked with journalist, nonfiction author Ke Kevin Auth uh, Mauer. Yeah. And uh, artist Andrea Moody, and then Lee Loffridge is the colors, and Clayton Cowles is the lettering, and then a cover by um, R.N. Guerra. All right, so six days, the incredible true story of D-Day's lost chapter. So this is about uh, some American troops that were part of Operation Overlord, and then they get really off uh, off course, 50, about 15 miles of where they were supposed to go. Um, yeah, so it was a misdrop during that. And the story is about these American soldiers teaming up with the French village to uh, stop Germans and uh, maybe change the cha you know, course of history working together. It's, it's, it's got that great focus of, of freedom, fighting for freedom. Um, rah, rah, American. This is a fantastic graphic novel. Um, I usually don't go for like that really rah, rah sort of stuff. Um, but that's, it's not quite there in this, in that... Um, it's there and you're, you're like rooting for them because they're fighting Nazis and it's really not that difficult to root for Nazis, at least it shouldn't be. Um, but it doesn't go over the top. It feels like a very grounded, based uh, story. And we, we know from lead up to this is Robert Venditti, it's his like great uncle was part of this. This is kind of why he wanted to uh, do the research on this and tell the story, and they've done the research on it. It's, it's There's a lot of cool detail on it. It's a lot about what the Americans did and the French did to um, defend this town. And uh, I think what really surprised me about it is, um, even through it all, it got to the end, and the ending wasn't what I expected at all. There there was still a surprise. Like, I thought it was going to go one way, and it didn't, which really, really made me happy. Um also, you know, there's a lot of heart to it. There's a lot of focus on on the relationship between the French village and the American soldiers, uh, which is really, really good because that's really what the story is about: is these two folks from totally different worlds coming together to stop the bad guys, um, Nazis. Again, really easy to decide to stop them and that they're the bad guys. It should be. Uh, so it's just it's a, such a good. It's a great, great story. It's a great graphic novel. Fantastic art. Fantastic story. Um, you know, this is an advanced review copy. The final copy is going to look a little bit different. Have me home, maybe have some more material to it. Uh, but just what I've read alone, I recommend this wholeheartedly, absolutely, like without any reservations at all. Um, it's just, it's really good. It's so, so, so good. And the fact that it's a true story, and it's just, it's amazing. It's, yeah, it's so good. Yeah, um, art is fantastic. I really, really love the art style to this. It's it's some pretty cool stuff. Uh, and the, the graphic novel as a whole really reminds me of solid military films. Um, for some reason, like Saving Private Ryan kind of came to my mind a lot. I don't know why. Uh, not a film that I personally like rah-rah love about, but there's just something about it kind of evoked a little bit, and I think it might have been some of the like emotional ups and downs to it really reminded me. But overall, I mean, this is just an amazing read, an amazing graphic novel. Uh, obviously, true story, you know, celebrating D-Day in, uh, this is going to be 75 years of that. That's June 6th. This is out now in comic shops and uh, bookstores May 14th, so timed to, uh, for I'm sure, what will be a lot of discussion about that. And this is a story just I've never heard this before. Um, you know, that small chapter, those little crazy things that happen during the war um, that, that, wind up being amazing um, stories to tell and uh, totally worth it. Now, if, I mean, if you like history, if you like war stories, this is a must get. Um, if you just like action, this is also a must get. It's, it's, it's got that there's tension, there's love stories to it. It's just, it's just fantastic. It's really, really fantastic. Well done, well put together, just uh, amazing. It's, I highly recommend this. So I said, out in comic shops now, you can go put in your zip code in the link beneath this video. It'll tell you if a shop near you, no shop, no problem. We've got some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage. But really go support the comic shops. And speaking of support, I want to thank uh, DC for hooking us up with this review copy of their Vertigo graphic novel release. Uh, we always like to be transparent about that. And thank you for watching. Now, if you're into DC, if you're into Vertigo, if you're into graphic novels, war comics, comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. 
all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.